Welcome to the Pit My Setup Highlights for episode number 189. First setup of the day was submitted by Jonas. So this isn't directly connected to the setup, but this I think was a big deal for him to include because we could see the walls plastered with some sort of like graffiti kind of art. Looks pretty unique. I like it. It's cool. It is a very nice, simple, straight to the point kind of setup. You know, just mm, all right. Mm, yeah, it works. I decided to mine a little poop. You know, we're not necessarily seeing great speakers. We're seeing a Bluetooth speaker, which is, is fine. Theme, again, I had a hard time with that. It, it's just, it's a difficult one. The brick wall looks cool. Jonas scored a 72. The next setup was submitted by Alfonso. I just had out of mind, what's with all the random shit on the left side of the desk? It, it, it really, it made it seem kind of like, ah, it's not a big deal. Like they're just there for fun. Kind of hurt his setup because the monitor on the right side is almost, if not over the edge. Push yourself back over a little bit more. You know, kind of scoot, scoot over. Get rid of all that crap on the left side. If you want to keep it, put it on a shelf and then move the PS4 to the, to where all that stuff is, like right in the corner. And it gives a little bit more breathability. You know, you don't, you don't have a mouse pad or anything like that. I, I know some people are weird and they apparently don't like one, but I, I just feel like it's a good thing to have. Alfonso scored a 66. The next setup was submitted by Callum. This one I think is a lot better than the other ones we've seen already. If you look, the brick wall is cool, like nice. The cables have just like destroyed what you're going for. I remember the guy from last episode, he had a gray brick wall and his setup did not match the wall at all. This one matches the setup. The printer on the bottom right side, that killed your usability. I mean, what the f- Because the leg's blocking it. Yeah, which is weird because if you look to the left side where the candle is, it just so happens to be the perfect spot for a printer. Could be a lot better, but a great starting point nonetheless. So would you recommend an Ikea Signum for those cables on the bottom or would you just adhere them to the back of the- Yeah, well, I mean, Ikea Signum will help a lot. You can put the power strip and all that in there. And then the rest, kind of like what you were about to say, you just shove them behind the damn Alex Yeah, they Jordan. couldn't even be seen if you just yeah. shoved them behind there. Callum scored a 68. The next setup was submitted by Aaron. He plans on replacing the drawer to the right, which, thank God. That was, like, the first thing I was like, boy, I'll tell you what, that needs to go now. Don't even just replace the, the drawer on the right side. Replace the desk. Get yourself something. And we see you have a storage bin off to the right side as well. I don't know if you kind of, like, barely yeah, you see, can, it. see it. Yeah, it's like the white. If you get a desk long enough to go from point A to point B, then you could get like the Alex uh, drawers. I know you don't need to do what everyone else does, but I'm saying you can get storage that fits under the desk. It will give you a lot more usability. Speakers will have a lot more, uh, like have an easier time of being in a spot that's not covering the one display. Cause if you go to the first photo, you can see a little more closely. Aaron scored 78. The next setup was submitted by Matthew. This setup though is super cool considering he's 13. Uh, but God, out of sight, out of mind, you done diddly obliterate it. You know what I'm saying? And I feel bad cause he's like, hey man, I'm getting dual monitors coming up soon. Can I push my setup back? I was like, no, <laughs> yeah. that's not how it works. It's not fair to everybody else. I find it weird that the, the Mac is so far to the left. I, again, it's down to how everybody uses it, but it just looks, considering the divot in the desk where your body goes, it seems so far over. I think the top shelf's perfectly fine. I would get all rid of all the stuff on the middle shelf and yeah. put like pop vinyls that like fit perfectly or something along the line. Yeah, of right. That. Height, or like everything. if you're into cars, you put like those cars along the middle. But you know, getting two monitors would definitely help. You know, I don't know where you put the laptop, maybe just off to the side. Yeah. At that point, but then you'd probably figure it out more. The reason that it doesn't look great is because the laptop is so small, so you look around to see what else is what else is around and yeah, your eyes awful. travel more. Yeah. That that's actually <clears throat> a great point. Had there been dual monitors, you would be less likely be to like, be oh, triggered. Look at the wallpaper. Yeah, like yeah. that's awesome, yeah. And plus, I think the artwork, uh, well, the photos and all that, it's a top right, also in a weird spot. Not a big fan of that. Matthew scored a 60. The next setup was submitted by Danny. It, it, very interesting. If you look at the left side of the desk, zoom on in there, we see the headphones laying on what is considered a tablet stand. Now, fun fact, that is like super cheap at, yeah, it's super cheap at Ikea. And that's what we have our mixer on. It's it, perfect too. Yeah, we use it as a mixer stand. Very odd to use it for your headphones. So obviously a little headphone uh, stand or under desk mount would be perfect for this. The pop vinyls, it's cool that they're guarding the monitor, but like you have a lot of desk space. Yeah. I'd pop that somewhere else. Now, something I found interesting is he's got some snapbacks and tattoos. Okay, just snapbacks. But what I would recommend, mount them to the wall going down. It would look pretty epic. I, I don't yeah. like where they're, they're at now because it, you could really use that for something you could a put lot your PC better. up there? Yeah, yeah. I would get LEDs because with that wall angle, like that shit will diffuse and look beautiful. I said out of mind though, you know, you have a lot of random stuff. Someone likes to actually read physical papers. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of the posters because it looks like you, you you like just put them in your hand, put them in a little ball and open it back up and like shoved scotch tape all over the place. But yeah, I think you definitely need like I like the blue chair. That was the other thing I was going to say. Why not get blue through the setup? 
You need a bit of pop. Danny scored a 74. The next setup was submitted by Dennis. Obviously, I'm kidding. This is his old photo. He just sent it for the, the lulls. Um, you would expect when you send a photo like this for the lulls, the next one would be jaw dropping, right? It's still kind of, it's, it's, it's I, but goddamn, can you fit anything else in that little corner? I mean, it just, it looks like you tried so hard too much, not completely usable. He's got the old phone on the, uh, where the clock is like, yeah, whatever. But then the mixer's over there. How do you use the mixer? comfortably then a score to 76 the next setup was submitted by trey get a bigger desk get a better chair okay the library cold they want their chair back the idea of using the laptop as your main display or just anything at all doesn't make sense it looks like he's got a custom built laptop uh stand which is cool and everything but bigger desk have that dead center have the other one off to the left you'll be bada bing bada boom speakers go in a nice spot which by the way do those even produce sound i just don't like that he said he loves hockey and you have like you could hang a jersey up on that right well, side it looks That'd like be the... those are the, that's the colorado avalanche oh it's know. a sweatshirt that the he should have cleaned up before taking the damn photo nice yeah. time real good trey scored a 76. final side of the day was submitted by christian i'm not taking it away from christian christian epic perfect beautiful amazing setup minus a few things which we'll get to in a second but i said it everyone and their mother is gonna buy those damn posters after we saw from trisky and now it just kind of takes away from not necessarily the cool factor i think there's still epic like dope like i like i want those posters you got to do something else to it you know you look at the main desk photo we need more theme just a little bit more i still give you an amazing score but having a wallpaper and something on your tv related to the theme yes cool but when you're actually using it you know the only thing for theme is the posters i think one of the big things that helped you was the multicolored. you got the soul lamp you got the purple the blue uh, the LEDs, it's just a beautiful blend of colors. Where I'm gonna critique is the cable management. Tom didn't even need to hear me say it. He's like, I got you. Sorry. Uh, yeah, sorry. Like, look at that though. That, that's the cables we're seeing. It's not just one. Christian scored a 92 and took first place. Thanks for watching the Pin My Setup Highlights for episode number 189.